Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we're sharing with you our super quick and super easy PowerPoint 3D popsicle recipe. Let's get started. Here are the high level steps for making a simple PowerPoint 3D popsicle. Step 1. Start with a reference. Step 2. Draw 2D shapes based on the reference. Step 3. Convert the 2D shapes into 3D shapes using PowerPoint's 3D formatting tools. Step 4. Pose the 3D model to create your 3D scene. As usual, we recommend starting your 3D model design with references. This helps you create the model with the correct parts and proper dimensions. You can use sketches. Or photos. We'll use sketches for this example. Rotate the reference image if needed. Trace the body of the popsicle using a rectangle with rounded corners. Now trace the popsicle stick. Duplicate the body. Resize it and place it at the bottom of the original body. Make the top completely round. Merge the shapes into a single free-form shape using the Union Shapes tool. Move the 2D shapes to a new blank slide. Assemble them and make any final adjustments as needed. Select the popsicle body and stick simultaneously. Then group them together by typing Ctrl G or Command G on the Mac. We also recommend setting the names of the shapes using the selection pane to make it easy to find and select them. Next, set the fill colors for the popsicle body and stick. Now, we'll convert the 2D shapes into 3D shapes. Using the 3D rotation tool, turn the 2D popsicle to view it from its side. Set the 3D formatting for the popsicle stick as shown. Then set the 3D formatting for the popsicle body. We're done. Let's inspect the model. Finally, let's pose the 3D model to create a 3D scene. For this example, we're doing a simple still life composition. Duplicate the popsicle by selecting it and typing Ctrl D. Pose and recolor the new popsicle. Repeat to create a third popsicle. Our simple 3D popsicle scene is done. To recap, we've shown you how to quickly and easily create a simple 3D popsicle using PowerPoint. Start with references such as photos or sketches. Break things down into simple parts that you can draw as 2D shapes. Then convert these 2D shapes into 3D shapes using PowerPoint's 3D formatting tools. Finally, create your 3D scene by posing the 3D model. You can also add other elements to your scene as needed.